Good morning. I'm meteorologist Kevin Smith at the National Weather Service in Pocatello with another edition of your weather hazard briefing. Today is Tuesday, April 2nd. If you enjoyed yesterday's weather, you are going to love the temperatures we're forecasting today across southeast Idaho. That taste of spring continues. High pressure, firmly in control, that's going to support sunny, mostly clear skies, dry conditions, relatively light winds for most of the region, and those warming temperatures for another day. Still expecting a fresh storm system to move into the region, a multi-day storm system starting for some of you on Wednesday and continuing at least through the upcoming weekend. This will feature periods of rain showers, some thunderstorms, some snow showers, also uh, quite breezy conditions over most of the region as we get a nice southerly wind kicking in ahead of this system. And we're expecting these conditions over a several day period. So uh, if you want to enjoy that taste of spring, definitely look at today and for some of you tomorrow at getting out there and spending a little bit of time outdoors. Now, some good news that we can pull out of this. Wednesday still looking salvageable for most of you outside the Central Mountains. I'll show you that graphically here in just a moment. Even in the Central Mountains, not yet cooling those temperatures off too significantly and not yet a washout. Chance of some showers and thunderstorms, but... Uh, again, not, not really looking like the system is going to firmly take hold on Wednesday, even in the Central Mountains. But certainly as you head to the south and east, out across the Snake Plain Corridor, the Eastern Magic Valley, the Southern and Eastern Highlands, Wednesday for you is going to rank just like today. A taste of spring, dry conditions, a little bit of wind starting to work into the region, but uh, warm conditions out there holding on for yet another day. Significantly colder air is actually really going to hold off until this weekend. We'll back things off just a little as we step ahead into Thursday and into Friday, but really this weekend is when those temperatures take a dive. We start to see more issues uh, with potential snow impacts, particularly as you get into Friday night and Saturday. A little bit of accumulation up in the highest elevations prior to that, but if you're looking for potential road impacts, I think the Friday night and Saturday period is going to be the one we need to watch. Breaking that down here on the weather risk outlook over the next five days. Again, beautiful conditions today. Not even seeing much of any fog development this morning as the air mass is just a little drier. Again, we're headed toward beautiful temperatures this afternoon. Wednesday, we start to get some breezy conditions in across most of the region, less so east of I-15. We don't have anything filled in for you here for the southeast and northeast highlands. But for the rest of the region, a little bit of wind out there and again, a few showers and maybe a few thunderstorms starting to work in from the west across uh, the central mountain region. And this low pressure system is really going to take its time time getting in here. It's actually going to track south down the Pacific coast for a day or two, and that's going to slow down how quickly it can push any precipitation eastward, inland, into our area. Now, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we start to really ramp things up. Breezy conditions everywhere all three days. I'll show you again some maps on that in just a moment. We start to bring in rain showers, maybe a few high elevation snow showers on Thursday. We mix in just a few more snow showers on Friday. And then again, Friday night and Saturday is when those colder temperatures really allow more and more of that precipitation to change over to snow. Maybe still some rain mixing in here in the Snake Plain, the Eastern Magic Valley and the South Hills uh, as we go into Saturday uh, with this multi-day storm system. And we'll see some impacts into Sunday just off of this uh, graph here as well. No watches, warnings, or advisories in effect. Again, high pressure, beautiful conditions, no hazards out there this morning. Uh, That's confirmed on our current satellite loop. You can see just a few high-level clouds, some white here drifting in across the northern Rockies. Uh, Almost none of that really making it down here into our forecast area. And if you remember yesterday morning, we were looking for these blue colors. You can see some down over Utah, and there's some off the coast here over the ocean, indicative of some fog and low stratus. Very little of that either. Almost none here across southeast Idaho this morning as our air mass is just a bit drier than what we saw yesterday morning. Nothing on the radar as well. Nice and clear out there. No impacts. Here's your low temperatures as you head out this morning, uh, generally ranging from the 20s and normally colder locales to the upper 20s to low 30s in our normally warmer locations, particularly coming in here from the eastern Magic Valley eastward toward Pocatello. And high temperatures today climbing over yesterday. You can see readings here. A couple places holding a little cooler. Driggs 48 is our high temperature forecast. Swan Valley very close to that as well. Maybe 
having trouble getting to 50 degrees here as well down towards Soda Springs and Montpelier, but still not bad. And then as you head down into our lower uh, lower elevation areas here of the Snake Plain and the rest of our valleys, temperatures well up into the 50s, if not some 60s, surging in here across the eastern Magic Valley into the Raft River region. It's going to be close for American Falls, Pocatello, and Blackfoot, even INL, at least getting into the upper 50s this afternoon. So a beautiful taste of spring for anyone who will find themselves in the outdoors. So we step forward into Wednesday. We'll use this graphic again. This is actually the severe weather outlook from our agency storm prediction center. And we're not highlighted for any severe weather, but this green shaded area does a good job at showing where we have a chance of a few of those showers and thunderstorms starting to creep east as this low pressure system moves in along the coast. Again, as soon as you get south and east of the Central Mountain region, it's going to be another beautiful day for most of you out there. But to the north and west of, say, uh, Howe and Arco, down towards Shoshone, and then again up across the whole Central Mountain region here. As we get into the afternoon and evening hours, just be on the lookout for a few showers and maybe a few thunderstorms uh, that may hamper you just a little bit again during the afternoon and evening. And we'll see all of this unfortunately expand and get more active as we step forward beyond Wednesday. High temperatures Wednesday, not losing much ground up across the Central Mountains and certainly continued warm, even warmer here down across the Eastern Magic Valley and Snake Plain. 60s everywhere and very close to 70 degree readings possible as you head out towards Shoshone, Jerome, maybe the Burley area and particularly west of there. It's going to feel beautiful down across that region and even over here in the east, 52 Island Park, 54 for Driggs and Montpelier. So continuing to see that warming trend in place on Wednesday, even as we start to ramp up the wind. This image over on the right shows uh, increasing southerly winds ahead of this low pressure system. Most areas gusting 15 to 25 miles an hour, and you can see higher gusts of 30 to 40 miles an hour as you get up into the terrain here of the eastern central mountains and the Montana border. A little bit breezier, too, down toward portions of Casha County. And uh, as you get down toward the interstate interchange here uh, near Idaho and Malta as well. We'll do it again here for Thursday. Here's your temperatures over on the left. Very similar. Readings in the 50s and 60s widespread. We're still not yet bringing in that significantly colder air even as the system comes in and we see increasing precipitation on Thursday. Increase in the winds though. Still generally a southerly wind direction here shown on the right image but you can see widespread gusts now over 30 miles an hour and even some gusts closer to 40-45 across portions of the Central Mountains and up along the Montana border. And down here towards Sweetser Summit, Malta, Idaho, uh, as you get down here into the South Central Highlands, may see some even higher wind gusts, at least 45, 50 miles an hour possible. Uh, I know it's showing 63 here for Sweetser Summit. We'll have to see how that guidance trends here the next day or two. That might be a touch high, but certainly noticeably windy out there as you get into Thursday. We'll see some of that wind continue Friday as well. Here's your temperature drop. So Friday over on the left, we lose just a little ground. It's not too painful yet yet. You can see readings here in the 50s for most of you, but some 40s for high temperatures moving into the Central Mountains. But step over here to the right. Here comes the colder air. Again, Friday night into Saturday is when we will see potentially increasing impacts from some snowfall with these colder temperatures. And you can see highs only getting a few degrees above freezing in many of our mountain areas. Still some 40s down here across the Eastern Magic Valley and Snake Plain Corridor, allowing some mixed precipitation with rain and snow as you head into Saturday. <clears throat> and that's what we're looking at here for your hazard briefing today. Again, enjoy the next couple days. We'll get through this next system as we head toward the end of the week. Again, spring is on deck, and we'll continue to see those warmer temperatures here eventually taking hold as we march further and further into the month of April. If you have questions, comments, concerns for us, as always, reach out with the information shown here on this slide, and everyone have a great Tuesday.